Hey guys, it's Cesara. All of us know MKLeo, Tweak, Spargo, and all the other top faces of the Smash Ultimate scene. But what about some of the underrated stars of the game? In this video, I'm going to be giving the spotlight to six of the top players from an underrated region in the US, the Pacific Northwest. The Pacific Northwest is made up of Washington, Oregon, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and technically British Columbia and Canada, but I'm going to be covering them in a future video. Let's get right into it. Starting off with Montana's hidden boss, Mark the SD King. Honestly, I don't know the most about this guy, but I had a lot of people comment him on my best states video saying that he was the best in the state but nobody knows about him. Known almost entirely for his online performances, the Rob main dabbles with some other characters but has gotten the majority of his big wins with the robot. While nowadays he seems to be inactive, over the pandemic Mark grinded online tournaments like crazy, entering event after event after event and started to rack up some great wins like Syrup, Justice, Hungrybox, Cyber, Skits, and more. Offline, he's won all five tournaments he's been to, winning the first two from losers and the next three through winners. Hope to see him come out to a major one day and see what he could do. Pow is a high-level Steven Pac-Man from Idaho. He's been a competitor in the state since the Smash 4 days, and has been their best player for a majority of the time since then. He was a little more well-known in the Smash 4 days, being considered a top 5 Pac-Man player in that game with a few big major wins under his belt but didn't travel much. And honestly, he still doesn't travel that much. When Ultimate started out, he came in as one of the strongest Pac-Man players in the US. He's been putting all of his time into grinding Steve though recently, and while he does have some inconsistent placements, he's right on the brink of making a breakthrough. Back at Back in Blood 3, he almost made the upset over PGR ranked player Leon having the lead versus the Bowser game 3 but wasn't able to close out the set. He's also had placements like 17th at Crown and 9th at Back in Blood 2, with a list of wins including Moxie, Smirk, Viola, Capsize, Sparkle, and all of the Idaho PR. An up-and-comer out of Oregon, Xavier, is a Wii Fit trainer that was previously ranked number 5 in Oregon, but isn't ranked currently due to inactivity. Xavier didn't start entering tournaments until the end of 2021, where he began competing in some online tournaments. He immediately came in and was winning some of the events. The Wii Fit has easily made a case as a top 3 player with the character, and while he has yet to make a big run on a major, the results are starting to stack up for him. After strong results online, he earned himself an invitation to the Ludwig Smash Invitational Last Chance Qualifier. He didn't make it into the main bracket, but he was able to pick up a win against one of the US's top Min Min players, Zerzel, and took top Mexican Falcon player Andrik to Game 5. At Port Priority 7, he made his first big major run, getting 25th beating Ven and Spam Cop. The week in a main stage was his best performance so far though. Beating Chave and Atomic at the pre-local, Xavier went on to get 49th at main stage, beating Shady and Losers, and then getting 7th at the Arcadian Finals, where he was able to beat Quan Dale and Rockman. Jared is King has been a longtime competitor in the Pacific Northwest, being ranked as high as number 2 in Oregon back in the Smash 4 days. The South Washington local has stuck loyal to Shulk since back then and the results have been paying off, being one of the rare representatives with the character. While he was always a strong threat in region, Jared dominated in 2022, really only losing to the top of the top players. He started the year with a 33rd at Genesis 8, beating Fusix, Takara, Gohan, and Dark Wizzy. Jared then followed this with a 25th at Battle of BC4, 33rd at Double Down, and 49th at Super Smash Con, before he was able to make his biggest run of the year at Rise and Grind. He was able to make it the top 8 winner side at this event beating Lima, Deathspade, Bass Mage, and Atata before falling to MKLeo and Siski. With his last major being a 13th at Port Priority, Jared ended the year with wins over everybody I mentioned before, Big D, Ouch, Mr. E, Send, Peevnut, and basically every player in Oregon and Washington. JDV is one of, if not the best Pac-Man in the United States. After being an active but not strong competitor at the beginning of Ultimate, the Pac-Man took to the online grind over the pandemic and began to level up, entering over 50 events. When offline came back, he was a different beast. Going from a 2-2 player to winning locals, JDV got regionally ranked for the first time at the beginning of 2022. The Pac-Man does a great job at playing evasive, constantly living to high percents because he doesn't give the opponent a solid hit. 
He slowly crept up the rankings since the end of 2021 and has picked up amazing placements like 17th at Port Priority, 7th at Back and Blood 5, and 17th at Battle of BC4. JDV had an amazing year, with the peak being a second place at Back and Blood 3, where he was able to defeat Sparkle, Karama, Jared is King, Klaatu, and H4. This along with a resume of wins including Big D, Dark Wizzy, Leon, Bass Mage, and practically every player in the Pacific Northwest. Finally, we have Washington's current number one player, H4. H4 is one of the top Pikachu mains in the world. He began competing back in 2019 after Smash Ultimate came out. He was first ranked back in 2019, but became a mainstay on the PR since the return of offline, rising up season by season and is now the number one in the state. While the Pikachu stays active in the Washington area, competing in their locals regularly, he made it out to a lot of big regionals along the west coast this year. He did underperform at a few of them, but he made up for it tenfold with the placements he did get. H4 picked up a strong list including 33rd at Double Down, 17th at Crown, 7th at Back and Blood 5, 3rd at Back and Blood 3, and arguably his best run of the year, 13th at Port Priority 7, where he was able to beat Mr. E, MFA, and Send. With ESAM's absence, H4 ended 2022 as the Pikachu to watch out for next year. If you guys enjoyed the video, I would appreciate any support. I'm a small creator with the goal to help grow the Smash scene by covering the competitive scene, telling stories from our game's rich history, and making other fun kinds of content. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment, subscription, whatever you're feeling. And thank you all again for a thousand subscribers. On the top, we have my thousand subscriber AMA video where I replied to all your guys' awesome questions. And on the bottom, we got a video of mine YouTube things that you're going to love. Either one's a good choice, honestly.